Okay, so this is being shown on a T-Mobile dash, which is a, a Windows mobile device. And as you can see, the interface is very clear. This is the Enrix traffic um, icon here. So you'd simply click on that and it would load the application. Right now it's showing a map of the Chicago metropolitan area, which is one of 66 markets that are available immediately um, on the Enrix traffic application. And the application is downloadable directly from Hendango.com. And um, for instance, okay, you're showing the, what you're seeing right now are um, different levels of traffic flow. Uh, yellow, or excuse me, green being free-flowing traffic, it's moving very well. Yellow being less free-flowing. Uh, red being congested and black being stop and go. What you can do is you can also, uh, depending if you're using a smartphone device, which this is, you can utilize the uh, tracking keys here to either pan, um, excuse me, panning over and up and down with the map. Okay. And see, and so you can get a broader idea of the coverage and where you're looking for. You can also zoom in uh, utilizing the middle key here to get a more granular view of the map and also what the um, information is on here. Okay. One of the things that you're able to also get via the, um, the application is uh, traffic incident information. For instance, you'll see uh, the, the number two here. On a smartphone device, what you would do is uh, simply click the number two. it should bring up what the uh, incident is that's happening on uh, the roadway. For instance, if there is a um, accident, if there's construction, if there is a uh, traffic congestion due to a basketball game or perhaps school schedules, weather related, that kind of thing. Um, now also you can click on the menu button here and you have several different options. You can look at current traffic, which is what the view that we were just looking at. You can look at traffic compared to normal. Um, and you can also look at predictive traffic, which has never been made available um, on any uh, traffic application yet in the United States. Right. Um, so we click on that, and it's going to refresh. And for instance, uh, right now we're looking at uh, the current traffic in the Chicago metropolitan area. We want to refresh because that's um, it hasn't been refreshed in a while. Okay. And so that's going to download. Um, where we're at right now, but also able to look at in, within 15 minute increments anywhere from 15 minutes into the future up to uh, five days into the future. And this is really um, a useful tool for the consumer simply because they're able to really plan out where they need to be, what's going to impact them um, in their daily lives. It could be making it on time to their uh, child's soccer game. It could be that they have uh, dinner plans with friends in the city and they need to be able to calculate what their drive time is going to be. So right now the application is downloading. Um, can it use any sort of uh, download connection, like, like if you were, you were connected over Wi-Fi, can it use the Wi-Fi connection or does it strictly only use the cellular connection? I believe it can use, yeah, it can be used over the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so here we are, we're at 9.15 a.m. Chicago time on March 28th, okay. and we would be able to go 15 minutes into the future. There's 9.30. Here we are, 9.45. You can see the traffic is not changing that much, but let's try to click ahead and it's starting to get some incident trap or some much more congested there at 10.15 in the morning, hmm. 10.30 and then so on and you could literally because traffic is obviously going to be very very different if you're traveling the roads at 11 a.m. versus perhaps 5 p.m. when it's going to be uh, stop and go traffic in most major metropolitan areas. Right. Um, another aspect of um, what you're able to do here aside from predictive and current traffic but you are also able to look at specific travel times. So let's say that we wanted to select a route in the Chicago area Right now it's downloading, downloading the route definitions that are off, um, available. Let's say we want to go to, um, let's see, we want to go from downtown to the O'Hare Airport, okay, via the Kennedy Expressway. So it's going to download that information for us. So it sounds like for an application like this, you really would want to have a, like a flat rate data plan if you're going to be using a fair amount of data, like on a daily basis. Or exactly. Like that. Yes, you would. And also the the uh, affordability of Inrix traffic. It's uh, 39.95 for a year subscription off of Handango.com. Okay, so it is a yearly subscription. It is a yearly subscription, which is very much in line with any other um, 
downloadable applications out there right now. Right. Right. But I think in comparison to uh, anything that's out there at the moment, this is really the most comprehensive and uh, we feel the most useful. Right, okay. Uh, so we are downloading the information right now. And again, this is a market that had not been previously loaded into my specific smartphone, so it's, mm -hmm. it's looking for new information. It's taking just a little longer. Is there, a, is there like a, a, a cache so that one, once you download this, uh, like I, I guess this is, what are we or is this route information? or This is route information that we're downloading right now. So okay. this is literally going to tell you and give you advice, so to speak, on uh, how long it's going to take you to get from point A to point B based on the routes that are already built into the application for that specific uh, metropolitan market. Okay. And for instance, um, I'm uh, a Seattleite. I live in mm -hmm. Seattle, and um, I happen to commute every day to the Enrix offices across a very congested uh, floating bridge. Right. And so I am very dialed in to what my travel routes are, my travel times, and um, so mine load pretty quickly. Yeah. Now, have you, um, I guess, having a real-world scenario like that, have you been able to notice then that, like, has this application helped you to cut down your, your travel time? Because I've been to Seattle a lot, and it seems like it would always be red or black. Yeah, oh, it's no, and, and that's so very... So incredibly busy. That's very, very true, and particularly over, for instance, the 520 Bridge, which is where I commute from right. every day from downtown right. over to uh, our offices in Kirkland. And one of the things that it has enabled me to do is it's enabled me to uh, decide should I be working from home for the next 30 minutes and avoid based on what uh, the travel time looks like right. and perhaps leave the house 30 minutes later so that mm -hmm. I can arrive um, without a lot of hassle, a lot of gridlock, that sort of thing. Right, right. Um, so for instance, the, uh, the route that we just selected from downtown Chicago to the O'Hare International Airport, the travel time is uh, predicted to be about nine minutes. Okay. And that is from point to point that you're looking at there.